A couple of implicit objects, one named config and one named application, can be used to retrieve some predefined property values. This call to get init parameter names retrieves an enumeration object that contains a complete list of the property names stored in the config object. The loop that follows it uses each name from the list to retrieve its corresponding value. The loop then goes on to display the corresponding value, the name and the value of each property. The second loop does exactly the same thing, but it uses the implicit object named application instead of config. This is the deployment tool setting up the WAR file containing this particular Java server page. Now, as you'll see, the deployment tool does a bit more than just deploy the JSP file. Moving to the next tab over, the one labeled Context, we can enter context property settings that will be available to every program in the application. The context property that we'll be defining is named Liquid, and we define it like this. That's a property value that will be available to the application. Now, you can define as many of these as you'd like. Now, this information is stored in the deployment descriptor file. That is the XML file that is included inside the WAR file. It's best to edit that file with the deployment tool because XML code is difficult to edit even on a good day. And the deployment tool will show it to you if you ask. On the tools menu, you bring up the descriptor view like this. Now this is the entire XML file. The properties are not defined within the servlet tag because these properties are available to every program in the application, not just the presets program. Each of the properties is defined with its own context param tag. We have a bit of a strange naming problem here. You remember from earlier that a servlet is a Java program that is already compiled and stored on the server ready to be run. The server runs it and it outputs an HTML page. Well, once a Java server page has been translated and compiled into a Java class, it's actually a servlet. From then on, it acts just like a servlet in every way. It runs and produces a web page. Well, since the two are the same at this point, they are treated the same in the XML code of the deployment descriptor file. Be sure you select the WAR file name and save everything save all. Be sure you save it. It must be saved before it can be deployed. If you do it in the opposite order, it won't work. Save all, then deploy. It's now being deployed. Once this is done, it'll be ready to be viewed. This is a display of the page created by this JSP. The top two lines show a couple of values that are predefined and are available through the config object. The bottom two lines show the property values that were defined and included as part of the XML deployment code.